There we go. And me. Our, excuse me. Hi. All right. So I've muted everyone, and for you to speak this evening, you'll need to unmute yourself. So I want to welcome everyone to our magnificent Monday call tonight. We are the Mission Possible team. I call this Mission Possible family and friends, and I'm so happy that you've joined us this evening. Uh, we are a growing team of inspired individuals, ages for change, and we are dedicated to creating a healthier and more prosperous life for as many people as possible now and in future generations. And we inspire healthy living around the world. That's what I love. We all come together. So I am actually BJ Crabtree. I live in Carterville, Illinois, and I'm filling in for Sharon tonight. And I'm just so pleased to be here. And thank you all for joining us. We have a lot to cover this evening. So I'm going to immediately turn this over to Deanne. And Deanne, just take it away. Thank you. Hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Deanne Broderson. I live on a farm in the middle of Missouri, and I've been a partner with Juice Plus Company for, this will be my um, 18th, 19th year? I don't know. I've been taking it for 20 years. Somewhere in there I got started. And uh, um, I hope those of you who were not able to be at the Ken Kentucky Lakes Boot Camp, uh, which was this past weekend, I hope you will feel the energy and the buzz and the excitement that is coming off of that. So one of the speakers there said something pretty um, insightful, I thought. So I'm going to lead with that quote. De Debbie Walton was one of our speakers. Some of you know who she is. And we, a lot of us really liked what she uh, tells people. She says, I enjoy making people healthier because it makes them happier. So that's the mission that we're all on to make people healthier and so they can be happier. I mean, I can't think of a more joyful uh, mission than that. So I'm gonna share my screen real briefly before we get to people doing some sharing here tonight. Um, we are actually, this is Magnificent Monday and we're celebrating all the things coming from January, but there's so much going on. We're gonna have to share some things happening in February too, but I wanna acknowledge those people um, who uh, had some new customers. Um, so Sharon and Cami put together this graphic from January and look at all of these names. Let me hit play here. There we go. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can okay. see. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go through this really quickly. Uh, Barbara Stewart had three customers. Sandy Burden had three. Cami Connard had three. Sharon Rankin had three. Michael Burden had three. Stephen Verdon had four, Bonnie Strong had four, Mar Marilyn Froelich had eight, Jessica Isom five, Susan Grigsby five, Lexi Phillips five, Jill Confrist four, BJ Crabtree three, Joy Anderson five, Neil ba Bays four, Stephen Matthias three, Cheryl Chepetto three, Kim Brockaway three, and Isom six. Mona Hitch, 12, Tammy Lamb, three, Jack Scalfani, three, and Sharon Berkey, six, and Beth Lammers, four. So if you add that all together, that is 105 new customers that Mission Possible put on. And we know that there are people who also put on one or two. Um, so I think that's a pretty great impact. And I think that's something worthy of celebrating. Um, so everybody do your jazz hands and celebrate. <laughs> uh, the next slide is was also posted on our Mission Possible um, uh, Facebook page. We welcomed four new partners um, into our team and you can see their names there, Lori, Kathy, Laura, and Joy. Um, so we, we welcome you to this mission. Um, obviously, some of us have been around a long time, so it's a great mission to be a part of. So I'm going to stop my uh, screen sharing here. And the first thing I want to do, I want to find where my arrow is. Mm, no. BJ, I can't seem to get my arrow working and I can't hit the top stop share. Am I the only one that can do that? I got it. Thank you so much. Good You're grief. welcome. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't do that. Okay. So the 
The first thing I'd like to highlight is we had some promotions. Um, and so we want to celebrate because when you're helping people getting healthier and happier, uh, promotions happen. So first I'd like uh, to ask um, Margie to come on. She actually had a team member get promoted in December, but with everything going on, we weren't able to celebrate. So we want to celebrate that, Margie, if you would introduce your person. Yes, I'd like to introduce Bridget Ormond. I have known Bridget um, professionally through the Blessing Health System for many years, and she was a customer in the past of one of my um, team members. And uh, it all started with the tax in the middle of the night that came to Jim. And long story short, within 60 days, she just excelled at sharing her passion. And I'd like you to tell about it. And she got promoted to QSC. And her sponsor, uh, Brenda and Bridget, both uh, got nice bonuses just in time for Christmas. So yeah. Bridget, do you want to share how, how were you able to pull that off in the middle of Christmas? I mean, really. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, so I have always been passionate about Juice Plus and healthcare and just taking care of myself. And I think many years ago when I had been taking Juice Plus, I had already um, shared about the um, the product and just kind of spoke about, or, you know, my children took Juice Plus and so their cousins wanted to try it when they would come over. And so I just started to, educate my friends and family that we were taking juice plus again and that my son Carter who's 11 was begging me to have it back because I had tried all these other multivitamins over the years just to save money and he just wanted those and I didn't want to give him like you know um, vitamins that had sugar all over them and so I was always looking for one that didn't have that but then he would taste those and didn't care for them and so <clears throat> I just just shared with family and friends and um you know, and just ask them if they wanted to try it. And so that's, I was able to, um, to get all my families and friends signed up. Well, and you did some of what we just learned at boot camp were best practices. We started with the Zoom um, that had a call that had some of your friends, and then you had a, a Saturday sip and party. And then um, you had an informal drop in and see Margie's Tower Garden. Um, so three events in a short matter of time. Um, it, it, it made a difference and your passion, um, your passion for making people healthy. Uh, so welcome to our team, Bridget. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. That's wonderful. So glad you could join us so we could celebrate you tonight. Thanks. Well, now I want to go over to um, Dr. Wanda Terrell. She also had a promotion in her team. Um, well, I guess I should have asked you, Wanda, was Molly able to join us? I, I don't see her uh, tonight, but I can I can congratulate her and celebrate her in her absence, and then we have somebody else to celebrate too. Yeah, and I'll I'm going to call on you uh, for the next one in a minute. But go ahead and tell us a little bit about Molly. We several okay. of us to meet Molly this weekend. Yeah, she had really enjoyed the boot camp. So Molly joined us in January. She was really excited on fire. And uh, so we, she, we got her to, she was promoted to Partner Plus in one day with her mm -hmm. first orders that she put in. And she's really excited about sharing the product and the business. Uh, she's loved the results that she's had so far. And actually we had um, uh, Zoom calls today with some people. Uh, so she will be adding some partners and adding some customers so I see next month we'll be celebrating her QSC, but I wanna congratulate Molly Austin on joining our mission and uh, embracing our product and our, and our group. She really had fun this weekend and um, encourage her to keep moving forward. So thanks to Ann. Yeah, I'm gonna come right back to you here in just a minute, I need to set this up. So I believe that was all the promotions that we had to celebrate. And was I misinformed? Was there anybody else that had some promotions to celebrate? Because we certainly wanna do that. Okay, well, 
Uh, I thought it would be fun to highlight, you know, we're all in business, we're a blessing, whether we do a little bit of our, or a lot, but several of us in the month of January chose to invest in ourselves and our um, businesses by attending the online uh, event called Level Up. And so I, I would just like to honor you if you participated in any way. Uh, can you just raise your hand if you attended the Level Up? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So we love this new level up that uh, we can participate in a really high quality event, getting just top um, leadership tips and um, ways to improve ourselves and our business. And so that was a wonderful thing that'll be coming around again, I believe in August. Will they do an, am I thinking correctly? They'll do another level up in August. So that, you know, in this age that we live in, um, you know, we don't have to travel. We can we can uh, participate online uh, from our homes or from our team members home or something like that. So, um, but we also, several of us invested in ourselves um, by going to the Kentucky Lakes Boot Camp, which was this previous weekend. So raise your hand if you were there. It was memorable for many reasons. <laughs> yeah, so again, seeing so many hands. So I thought it would be fun if we allowed those people who was their first time to attend Kentucky Lakes. I mean, once you go, you get hooked, right? You're just going to go back again and again because it's so um, it's high quality training, but it's also really fun and um, really part, fun to be part of this community. So I thought it'd be great to have our first time attendees just give us some top highlights that they had from that. So uh, Wanda. I see you're on the phone. You want me to go to the next person? Okay, I'll circle back around to Wanda. Um, Paula, you had a team member come for the first time. So if you'll introduce her and let her share. Awesome, thank you, Deanne. Yes, yeah, so Jill Kahn first. She's actually a QSC on uh, my team. She's been a taker of Juice Plus and have been a part of the business for around 15 years. You know, I live in Missouri. She lives in Iowa. We met when I lived there. And she, though, has taken the product and has a great product story. Um, she's a nurse practitioner. And so her uh, employment arrangements haven't always allowed her to engage in sharing Juice Plus, but that has now changed for her. So she's able to now share more uh, freely. And so she's just asked to um, get plugged in and figure out how this all works. So she said, I want to go to boot camp. So here's just a testament to her determination, and I'll turn it over to her. She worked the Thursday night night shift as a nurse in the ER. She got off at 7 a.m. Friday morning, drove to my house three and a half hours, and then we drove in that crazy snowstorm another nine hours to get to boot camp. And she just had a great attitude and had a wonderful time there. But I will turn it over to her to share, Jill, just what um, what stood out to you? What were some takeaways from the boot camp that you experienced? It was a lot of fun. Um, I think that uh, just I really appreciated the faith-based uh, atmosphere and how Deanne, the three of us just prayed, you know, for coverage of the, uh, of our travels and then just uh, traveling and picking minds and, and talking about different things. But um, some of the takeaways that I had was that, uh, and I, I can't quote who they were, but um, a healthy person has many dreams, but a sick person only has one. Um, we always find time and money for what we value is another big thing that I uh, took away. Uh, words are blessings or curses, um, and that's from Proverbs 23, 7. I thought that was really a really nice verse to remember. Yeah. Um, investing in yourself is the best investment you will ever uh, make. It will not only improve your life, but it will improve the lives of others. And I think that's just a really neat testimony um, to remember. Um, and then I really had fun with the nitric oxide rush. I thought that was, uh, my quads are still thanking them for that. <laughs> so it was fun. I had a lot of fun with, with Debbie and, uh, <laughs> that's, that's our own little inside joke, isn't it, Deanne? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'll have to fill you in all later, but yes, yes. We had, there was some shenanigans at yes. our condo. 
Um, so thank you so much for sharing, Jill, and thank you for being such a trooper through that snowstorm with us. Yeah. So, um, okay, Dr. Wanda, are you ready now to take the lead? You'll need to unmute yourself. Yeah, I, Molly, I was Molly on the phone. I think she's trying to come in. Uh, and she, in, in addition to having her promotion, she was a first time attendee at boot camp. So I'm going to ask, I have Crystal Crump, uh, who you all met at boot camp. She's a brand new partner. She's excited. And uh, her daughter, I think her daughter told her that she need to parent her because she was going to, to, she's driving in a snowstorm to meet with some people that she didn't know. <laughs> and she needs some supervision. Uh, so Crystal, <laughs> if you can unmute yourself and share any highlights from your experience at the boot camp. Oh, yes. Thank you, Dr. Terrell. Um, so I signed up uh, as a partner about 10 days before the boot camp. And when I heard about the opportunity to attend, meet more people on the team and learn more about Juice Plus as an organization, I was like, yes, that sounds amazing. And then my like um, Dr. Terrell said, when I told my children, uh, they're like, you're going where? With who? What? And I'm like, no, these are really nice people. I, I believe it. I feel it. And when I got there, that's I found no, you know, nothing short of that. Um, people that were even nicer than I could even imagine. The community and the culture and the welcoming spirit. Um, it was just really beautiful. And so I have three pages of notes, um, just soaking it all up and can't wait to put these things into practice. A few things that I wrote down. Um, one was from Rhonda Hubbard and just how are you empowering others? who is watching you and my daughters are always watching me. So I'm excited to show them um, how I built this business and help um, build nutritional health or improve nutritional health and generational wealth at the same time. And so um, I thought that was really great. And then just getting off to a fast start and getting um, your team developed. And I thought it was really uh, great. Some of the practical tips that she shared about the calendar blocking and those things that I can put into practice immediately. So really excited um, also to meet my team members, other Mission Possible members and the leadership within our um, team. It was fantastic. Got to visit uh, Miss Patty's, I think is the name of the place, which was amazing. So, so many highlights from the weekend. I am, stuck, my heart's still full, um, taking it all in and reflecting on the things that I, got to take away. So yeah, I just thank everyone from for the warm welcome and um, looking forward to seeing everyone on these calls and at the next event. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. We appreciate it. Well, I'm going to swing over to Judy. Um, Judy, I can't see you at the moment. Uh, you had a first time attendee here. So if you want to unmute yourself and uh, introduce Maureen. Um, I don't know. Uh, BJ, can you help? I'm trying. Oh, here. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Maureen is here. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm here. Maureen's here. My name is Judy Tedder, and uh, my partner is Maureen Lander, and uh, she started last fall and uh, encouraged her to go to the boot camp, and uh, I'm I think she was really glad she did. She's a realtor full time. So she does this on the side and she's doing a pretty good job of it. So Maureen, will you tell us what you got out of the boot camp, what your favorite thing was? Yes. Um, first of all, the first thing that I noticed was the community of the people and, and how everyone was like-minded there. And um, I also like the faith-based um, part of it. Uh, also, because everyone seemed to have a caring um, and compassionate soul and character about them that to to give this product and talk about this product to people, it it's more like a ministry to um, to do that because we're helping people with um, with their health. And so my being a realtor, I stay so busy and the last couple of months I've been busy and going to this boot camp really gave me 
the incentive to really start sharing this product because I really learned being a newbie. I mean, I knew, knew some of it and I knew what it's done for myself, but hearing what it's done for so many and uh, the testimonies really hit my heart uh, about it, how this product has helped so many people. So um, I can't stop sharing. Today, I've been telling everybody, uh, my kids are laughing at me already and my grandkids today because I'm saying, take your gummies, you got to take your gummies. And just I just told them all about what I had learned there. And, um, and just getting away and being with you all, it was really, really a great weekend. And um, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, a future with uh, Juice Plus and getting more people on my team. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. We so yeah. appreciate you coming and being a part with us. So thank you. I'm going to turn it over to Anne. She had a first time attendee there, somebody that we have known and loved for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm Ann Isom, and I'm so excited to introduce you to Ashley Keen. I think most of you all know her. She's been around for a while, actually joined the company. Uh, she's one of those partners that you and in a moment, things can change in your business. And I met her at a Bunko event our Pink Ribbon uh, Network group was doing. And uh, we just formed a beautiful relationship. Just, just, I don't know, it was just something very special. And that was the first of March. And by the end of March, she was a new uh, partner with our company. And she just whipped right through uh, all the steps of starting to get sales coordinator. And so that was in 2018 when she joined. And I just mentioned boot camp to her, said, would you be interested in coming? And she said, yes, I, I am interested. And this is her first boot camp. And I can't wait for her to share with you her takeaways and how, how much she loved being with us at boot camp this, this year. Ashley. Okay. Hey, thanks, Anne. Can you hear me? Go okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, all right. Um, so I loved all of it. Honestly, it's hard to uh, pick just one person or, you know, certain things, but there are a few things for myself that really stuck out and it was Rhonda Hubbard and her topic was towards our why and the how to. And one thing that Ashley struggles with is, um, connection calls and giving her business the time it needs. So for me, that was the thing she asked us, you know, knock out your business. It takes one hour. Like how many people can we text in an hour or a conversation on the phone, something like that. And staying connected. I personally experiencing this cannot stress enough, especially with people just coming. The connection is so important because what you saw at the boot camp is every single day across the miles, um, over the phones, all the things. Just stay connected. Uh, get with your sponsor that and check in with even your NMDs, but those connection calls, following up and just sharing because we are all one-minded in this business and we all want the same thing for everyone. Um, so that to me was just very key. And overall the weekend, it was a lot of fun, um, great laughs and memories and can't wait till the next one because I definitely will be attending, so. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah. Once you, once you go to the Kentucky Lakes boot camp, there's just something so special about it. And I, all of those of you who were the first time attendees, we want to thank you uh, because you bring your own unique experiences and your viewpoint and your energy into this. And it's um, those of us who've been around longer and have been there more times. It's so fun to see uh, your eyes light up for the first time and be like, wow, this is really great. So we really, really enjoy that. And, and thank you so much for investing in yourself. So we are running out of time. So I want to highlight uh, some upcoming events. Sharon asked me to do that. So let me share my screen again here. And Janae, I'm going to get ready to call on you. So if you want to unmute yourself here. The company has um, uh, 
given us Wellness Wednesdays, I believe the first three months of the year. And there's a special one coming up this Wednesday that I wanted to highlight. Um, and when Janae found out about it, she was so excited. <laughs> so I'm going to let her tell you about it. Hi, everybody. Well, if you know me, I love pickles. So Deanne called on me to share about this awesome pickle party. It's this Wednesday on Zoom, 7 p.m. Central. So this information is on boards. There's the flyer to invite and then also the recipe for all the supplies and ingredients you'll need. So um, if you haven't plugged into a Wellness Wednesday event, I would highly recommend it. They have been incredible and they are recorded. So I'd recommend you invite and attend live, but if for some chance you can't, they are recorded. So go learn about fermented foods and help your gut. <laughs> <laughs> and Janae loves pickles so much. I don't believe I've ever traveled with her anywhere that pickles were not involved. And she brought homemade, her own homemade pickles to boot camp. So um, she, when she says she loves pickles, she's not kidding. Um, and then next Monday, I wanted to remind you our Mission Possible team call is going to be at 830 Central. What I love about Juice Plus, biz, my Juice Plus business, and I believe Wanda is going to lead out on that. Wanda was one of the speakers, and um, I, I'm sorry if you missed her talk. It was very, very good. She shared a lot about her personal story. So you may get to hear some of that next week. But next week is the last time that we're going to meet at 830 because starting in March, we are going to start meeting at 730 Central. We'll remind you again next week here on Voxer, on Facebook, everywhere. But um, this is to try to accommodate more people's schedules. Um, and so just want to give you a heads up, put it on your calendar. Mission Possible calls will be at 730 starting in March. Okay. So, um, BJ, I cannot stop my share. All right. Just a moment here. <laughs> but that's really all that I had. There thank we you, go. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. um, being here tonight. Again, it says so much about you that um, you value this community. You value the mission that, that we're doing. We're getting people healthier and happier. Um, and um, you are a big part of that you're a part of changing the world that we see around us with people being so sick um, and people who are needing financial health as well. So thank you so much for being here. Um, that's all I have for tonight. BJ, I'll turn it back over to you. All right, thank you. That was just amazing and excellent. Thank you so much. I'm gonna close this evening with something I was reading earlier. It's like, live your life of your dreams. Some of us forget to dream sometimes, don't we? So it says, be brave enough to live the life of your dreams according to your vision and purpose instead of the expectations of others. It's only after you've stepped outside your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow, and transform. So go out there and live your dreams. All right, everybody, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We love you all. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so yeah, much. Wonderful. Job. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Great job, everyone. Good, good night. Good night. Good night.